Dear Jane, in the advertising leaflet which accompanies tout va bien to the festivals of Venice, Carthage, New York, and San Francisco, we preferred using a photograph of you in Vietnam instead of photographs from the film. We found this photograph in an issue of L'Express early in August 1972, and we think it will enable us to talk in a more concrete way about the problems raised by tout va bien. This is not a way of changing the subject, nor is it a way of not talking about tout va bien, as if we were afraid of talking about the film, not by any means. It is a way of not marking time, like the puppeteer's troops at Quang Tree, which eventually leads to stepping on others, as with the shells of the Seventh Fleet on Quang Tree. Actually, this is a way of making a detour, but if we dare say so, a direct detour. In other words, a detour which will enable us to run directly into the treacherous little problems that the film we made together at the beginning of this year is concerned with. And rather than talk right away about the qualities and the faults of our film, from one end to the other, we prefer to ask critics, journalists, and spectators to kindly make the effort of analyzing this photograph of you in Vietnam, which was taken a few months after the film we did in Paris. As a matter of fact, this photograph and the short text that appeared with it does a better job of summing up to Vabien than we could. And for a very simple reason, this photograph answers the same question that the film is asking. What part should intellectuals play in the revolution? To this question, the photograph gives a practical answer. The answer it gives is its practice. This photograph shows you, yes, you, Jane, serving the Vietnamese people's struggle for independence.